Okay guys, it's time to go. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful day here. I'm like buzzing with energy. I'm so excited. I love Switzerland. It's like one of my favorite places in the world and I've never been in the winter. So I'm just like so excited. And this travel day is gonna be very luxurious and I only paid $300 for it. Like that's so insane. So I'll take you guys along with me. I feel so lucky. Lucky girl syndrome hitting me. Okay, let's go and have ourselves a day. It's gonna be amazing. JFK, I'm doing it up the same. So this is a flight that I booked with points, you guys. I'm flying first class on Delta One, but yeah, I paid $300. Only the taxes and fees ended up being round trip and it was an amazing experience. Oh my gosh, I loved it. So after landing in Zurich, you actually have to take about a two hour train ride to get to Zermatt. So we were just ready to go because it was the morning and it is actually a very pretty train ride and it was sunny out. Check out our like community area of the Airbnb. It's like a little gym hot tub which i just reserved we just rented skis and now we're gonna go get food good morning everybody it's snowing outside conditions today should be great we are going to hit these slopes something cool about this mountain so we're in switzerland right but you can actually add on your ski pass to ski a little bit in Italy because we're like right on the border. And when we got our ski rentals yesterday, the guy told us, cause I was like, is it worth it? Should we do it? I don't know. And he told us that it's super worth it because basically, you know, food in Switzerland is really expensive. But when you go to the Italian side, it's like a third of the cost. I feel like that'd be kind of cool to put in if I do a main channel video, I'm planning to do one about like skiing here versus the US, but like, that's super cool, I didn't know that. And the add-on, I can't remember, I think it's like $30. But it's also just like a lot more different runs that you can do. And like, I don't know, the novelty of being like, oh, I'm in Italy now. Okay, we are heading out, grab some quick breakfast, and see what the mountain's like here. I'm so excited, it should be very, very nice. The thing I love about Zermatt already, is that it's super walkable. So it's so convenient here that you can walk the food, you can walk to the gondola. Okay, we took the gondola up. You can go up even more actually, like up there. I don't think it's running though, so we'll just try this. But we're waiting for the bus. I think it's just a free bus. It's here? It's here? Yeah. All right. It has been hard okay. to find the right stuff. Um, so it's been a confusing morning. Everything is closed. Do you think that snow would open this place up, but it closed it down instead. Yeah, so but ironic. in the US, if it snows a lot, pretty much everything's open the next day. But here, there's only like a couple things open. Oh, we finally found something that's open. So we found a run that's actually open. It's, it's pretty good. Um, it's just very crowded because this is one of the only runs open. So I feel like I can't really relax and enjoy it. I'm like nervous someone's gonna run into me. Yeah. Like, do you feel that way? Yeah. Oh, really? Uh oh. I just feel like so far, yeah, we need to see what it's like tomorrow when it's sunny and hopefully less windy. There's 
going to get lunch at this really cute place halfway down the mountain. Hoping tomorrow to go to the top of the mountain. It should be less windy, but it's awesome. It's great. We are back from the slopes and about to get in the hot tub. Just made a piece of my leftover pizza though because whoa, I've walked like 12,000 steps already and skied and we stopped by a Swiss grocery store, the co-op one. They had the most delicious fresh strawberries that were like, I'm what I'm guessing are organic. They taste just like the ones that my parents used to grow in their own garden, which were so much better than any of the store-bought ones. Like, what a treat. These are so good. I'm honestly starting to just like the quality of my phone for vlogging more. It's skiing day two. It's sunny today, so it should be hold on. Let's suit it up. It's so much better when the sun is out. I feel like yesterday it was so hard to see yeah. the depth. It was like scary. Plus you can actually see the Matterhorn. Well we came to I think very top. Matterhorn's right behind me, and we're gonna do some some skin. Hey, we're going up a ski lift and. I went to change the music with my AirPods, wasn't paying attention. My pole fell off. Now, I normally wouldn't care, but I did rent it and I have to return it. So we started climbing up this hill because we know where it fell off, not too far up, probably 500 feet, which is kind of a lot to climb. Sam's going for it. I was gonna go with, he encouraged me to stay back. Um, I'm pretty sure ski boots are heavier than snowboard boots. And so these just go so, Deep. They go like four feet deep every time I step, but hopefully he finds it. <laughs> he got it! Ah. Okay guys, finally starting this vlog at like 2 p.m. The skiing took it out of me. I slept so hard. Best night of sleep I've gotten in a long time. Now we're getting lunch at this cute little pub in the little downtown area. Before you go commenting, you came all the way to Switzerland just to have McDonald's. We only came here for the video, okay? I don't even eat this shit in America. But the prices do seem to be a bit more here. A lot more on certain items, but about the same on others. Got some hot chocolate. Wow, my hair looks so funny. It looks like it's this long. And we're in this little souvenir shop. It's got some cute stuff, but we're looking for an umbrella. All right, so I just ventured off on my own for a bit to get some footage from my video. I wanna get some talking shots and B-roll of Zermatt, Zermatt. I still am like, am I saying it right? I'm trying to figure that out, but super cool town. It's very walkable, very pretty. All right. So the skiing is great, but what a, okay, so the screen, Okay, so the skiing here is pretty awesome, but what about the setup of the town? I'll show you guys. Good morning, everybody. It's a great day. 
I woke up at 4 a.m. to see the news that cow has been found. <laughs> so happy. I'm editing today. And I can see the Matterhorn right now, which is pretty cool. Breakfast. I already returned all my rental stuff, but I made breakfast. Last full day here in Zermatt. Sam went to go snowboard. I only rented stuff for like two days and it's gonna rain. So I was like, I'm good. But I'm gonna go find a cozy little coffee shop to get some work done at and see if I need to get any more shots while I'm here. I'm out of our little apartments. I'm heading to this hotel that has a really cute looking bar that serves coffee. How cute is this town? I just love it. Look what the cat dragged in. All right, I'm gonna call it a day with editing. I've loved this hotel bar edit hang. Let's go in the hot tub. I just felt a raindrop. No. So today was more of an edit work day for me. It was really lovely. I got my fill in of skiing. I filmed a bit and I really wanted to rough cut the video together to know if I needed any more shots. And I feel good about it. I feel like it's actually gonna be really interesting. So it's been a good mix of work and play. I'm getting a great video out of this, but it was very fun to make because I got to go skiing. <laughs> and tomorrow we are going on the Glacier Express, which is a really cool train with the panoramic windows. And that's going to be a video too. The cloud behind me. It's so crazy because we're like down in this little like canyon sort of. burgers with a fork and knife here. Okay, so in the US, I've never seen a Zara that has the home section, and this one does, so we're gonna look around. They should. Cute. Kitchenware. Nice. Cute, cute. Love a good colored glass. It reminds me of Crate and Barrel, actually. Good morning, you guys, from Zurich. I'm currently getting ready in the hotel bathroom. This is the setup. And then I, I just put this guy right on here and flip it around so I can do my makeup. So we are heading to London today, which I love. I love London. I have been many times before, so it's kind of nothing new but we are gonna go to the English countryside um, to Soho Farmhouse, which is a really cool looking kind of wellness hotel. I'm very excited to check it out. We're gonna do a tennis lesson. It's just gonna be a lot of fun. And we're gonna spend some time in London as well. We have the whole day here in Zurich, but I think we're mostly just gonna work on our computers. So we both have some editing to do. I also just don't even know what there is to do in Zurich. Like there was so much, there is so much to do in Zermatt, but I feel like here is more like shopping and I don't know. I'm just kind of in the mood to edit and then do more, more adventurous things in London. Kind of breaking up our trip that way, being productive, but also having fun. I mean, I'm making three different videos while on this trip, so definitely a productive one. This is my life now, vacuum sealing my clothes. How much was it? That was like an annoyance. It was 20 franc or like Are you serious for a Subway sandwich? $20. For a Subway sandwich and a, how much is it in the US now, like 10? 12, for more than this. Ah! Yeah. Wow. Maybe, maybe 13. Wow. So the bread is really different. Do you think it's better? Mm-hmm. Mmm. It tastes fresher. Seems healthier. For sure. I love Citizen M hotels because they have always like a almost like a co-working space in the lobby. So check this out. This is the lobby. Tons of room to work. 
there's like a bar over there. It kind of feels like an airport lounge, but you have to pay for the food. But we're gonna post up an egg. We're at the airport. It's been a trying time for us at the Zurich airport. This is honestly like, wow. I would say if you're going here, give yourself a lot of time. Like the lines are insane. Okay guys, we just made it to London. Our hotel is so cute. I'll show you, we're staying at Dean Street Townhouse. It's just, it's so cute and like British feeling, but I just, I love it. Um, they upgraded our room to a medium sized room too, which is cool. So there's like this whole, there's a tea set here, which I think is just like included. Cool. The little bar area, like how cute that it comes with. I mean, obviously you have to pay for this stuff if you use it, but like that's really cool that it has that. It comes with a little water by your bed. Like that's such a thoughtful touch that I love because I always want some water when I'm going to sleep. And same thing with this side. There's some music playing. So out here is Soho in London. So it would seem pretty poppin'. It's Saturday night, so it was like pretty busy as we walked over. Open up this, there's like more food and drinks for purchase. It just really does feel like a home. Flat iron, hair dryer. I stayed at one one time that had a Dyson air wrap. Like they just go above and beyond. Oh, there's an adapter, cool. Okay, that is actually so handy because I forgot to get a UK adapter, but we're good. Love that. And a charger, like I just love it here. Dyson blow dryer. It's just like they do, it right the hospitality okay the bathroom so the other location i've stayed at is the austin one and one thing i loved all the amenities like toothpaste their skin products which i'm super excited to try so there's actual cleanser dental kits earplugs just like everything even a little deodorant like it just it's awesome body lotion this is their brand cow shed and what, what do we have here cotton pads take off your makeup so nice towel warmer amazing free standing bathtub your your choice of shampoo conditioner and body wash like love that and just a really cool vintage feel to this bathroom like I love the checkered tile, freestanding tub, rainfall shower, robes, so nice. <laughs> this toilet is funny. It's just so like, I don't know, in its own little area. Look at that. But yeah, it just, I love it. This is, it's great. <laughs> 